Well, being forced to leave your home is never easy, especially while preparing for one of the biggest moments of your life. Our live team coverage continues tonight. Eyewitness News' Desharian McBroom talked with a family caught up in the chaos. He's live tonight with their story. Desharian. Yeah, that's right, Brendan. 39 homes damaged and over a dozen families being assisted by the Red Cross. One of those families, Trevor McDowell and Maddie Struble, who are working to put the pieces of their lives back together after the destruction that this explosion caused. Due to the explosion, 14 families have now been uprooted from their homes. One of those families is Trevor McDowell and his fiance, Maddie Struble, who live across the street from the home that exploded. They just moved into their home a year ago and have plans to get married in two months. With the explosion now uprooting them from their home, they are now wondering what their next steps will be. I called the dispatch and asked them what was going on, and the lady told me there was an explosion across the street. And then I looked at the front ring doorbell and I was absolutely in shock. It was everything was collapsing around and it was horrible, devastating. They were not permitted in their house for hours, but when they finally had the chance to go inside, things became very emotional. We, we basically just looked at the damage and everything and we were pretty upset because this is, this is our first house. So I uh, lived here about a year now and that was, that, was, that was pretty hard. After searching for a place for her and her family, this was one of the last things they expected to happen. We were looking for forever, it seemed like. We wanted something that was big enough for us to grow a family, live here for a few years, and then that all came crashing down when this unfortunate event happened. And with the home that is over 100 years old, it is filled with history, and the homeowners say they were looking forward to building their history here as well. Seeing all the, like, the woodwork in, in here, that's that's basically custom made and everything. It's, you know, a part of history, but not only that, it's part of our lives. McDowell says he is thankful almost their whole household is in one piece. You never know if one of us called called in sick and just stayed home for the day, you know, and we were up here, or our dogs are up in the front room, which they usually aren't, but if they were, I mean, it would have been, it would have been bad news. Now, at the time of the explosion, the couple had three pets at home. They had two dogs and one cat. Now, both of the dogs have been retrieved at this time, but their cat already is still missing. The couple have set a date of October 22nd for their wedding, and they say no matter the destruction going on in their lives right now, they still plan to walk down that aisle in just over two months. Maddie says she was very thankful that her wedding dress was not at home at the time. Reporting live from Weinbach Avenue in Evansville, Sherry McBroom, Eyewitness News.